Hello, folks. Do you manage and operate the backup infrastructure for your environment? And if so, do you have to stay compliant to some regulations or policies? If so, this video is for you. We're joined with Aruna Somandra, Principal PM for the Azure Backup Team, and we're going to look at this right now. Hey, Aruna, how are you? Hey, Pierre, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Uh, listen, I've got a question for you, and it came up when I was doing a review uh, of some requirements with a friend of mine who works for Company X. Um, they are looking at ISO 27001 certification, and they the certification actually states that uh, backup copies, information software, and system images, and I'm reading this here, uh, shall be taken and tested regularly in accordance with the agreed backup policy. So this is the, the, the letter of the law for the ISO certification. Does Azure Backup Center helps me facilitate that? Yes, it does. So uh, what Backup Center does is brings together the capabilities that Azure has with respect to Azure policy and lets you take charge of what's the desired backup goal state that you want to get your organization to, define Azure policies to that desired goal state, and then track compliance against that using Azure policy and compliance. So let me actually show that to you using the Azure portal. Okay. So here we have our familiar backup center overview page. If you look at the left nav, there is a section called policy and compliance. Okay. And if you click on Azure policies for backup, what this does is this seamlessly brings in the Azure policy experience, but focused on backup. So right here, you see all of the Azure policies that are available but they've been actually filtered to the backup category. Again, okay. you'd get the same view if you went into the Azure portal, clicked on Azure policy and clicked backup. But our goal with, again, Backup Center is to make sure we get you all of the relevant information that helps you uh, focus on your core task being backup. So here, for example, you can see both your built-in policies as well as any custom policies that you have written for backup. And you can use these policies and then assign them onto your desired scope. So for example, we have a bunch of built-in policies like Azure Backup should be enabled for virtual machines, or you want to do tag-based policies. You want to say, I have these production VMs that have tagged, that have been tagged production equal to true. And for those kind of production policies, I need to retain them for say three years or seven years. So you can then go, you know, into that Azure policy, configure your policy of choice, assign it to the scope that you are interested in, in terms of the subscriptions, the resource groups, and ensure that that Azure policy, you know, sets the required vault, the required underlying backup policy that triggers the schedule and the retention goal. So super simple uh, and seamlessly blended in uh, within Backup Center for you. And so, Another aspect of that is one aspect is defining the policy and assigning it. The second aspect of that is tracking compliance against it. Okay. So what Backup Center does is also shows you the compliance views for these Azure policies. So if you clicked on compliance, you see here a view of the compliance state for the Azure policies that you've assigned. So in this case, I have a bunch of Azure policies uh, that I have defined for different subscriptions. Mm -hmm. And I see a view of, you know, the resource compliance for each of these. So for example, this policy, the scope that is assigned for is like all fine. But for this particular policy assignment, uh, it's only compliant for 45%. So if I click into that, I can actually see which of the resources are non-compliant, and then I can take corrective action on them. Okay, and, and you can take direct, uh, direct action on them like directly in that view, or do I have to like write down the name of that VM and then go back to uh, protectable uh, data sources? 
So what you can do is a couple of things. You can either click view resources, which okay. takes you directly to that virtual machine, and then you go into the backup process for that and take a backup. Uh, what you can also do, so in this case, it was a policy that was on audit policy only, right? So uh, it just shows you that these are the things that have not met your audit. But if you had actually set a policy which was a deploy if not exist policy, then what it does is it actually goes ahead and ensures that for every single thing that is non-compliant, it goes and applies the remediation tasks on top of it and brings those resources into the desired goal state. So, so if, um, if you're out of policy, the the deploy if not exist will drag you back into compliance, whether you like it or not. Yes, yes. Okay. If you've chosen that type of a policy, yes. Okay. This is great. So we now can set uh, policies, view the compliance, and then remediate on the non-compliance uh, straight out of the backup center. So Runa, this is great. Uh, we can now. Uh, set policies for all of our environment, different policies, uh, make sure that uh, to, to be able to view the compliance. And if it's not compliance, we do have a uh, possibility of action uh, to take action and to bring those resources back into compliance all within a single pane of glass in Azure Backup Center. This is fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Azure Backup Center, one of its core pillars, like I talked about, was governance. So all of these capabilities are things that we've added to help backup administrators who are responsible for governance uh, have integrated, seamless, powerful experiences that they can uh, you know, use to drive governance at scale for their organization. Perfect. Thank you very much. So. For all of you at home watching this, uh, resources are going to be listed here below uh, in the description of this video. Thank you so much, Aruna, for taking the time to walk us through uh, all of the goodness that is Azure Backup Center. Thank you so much for having me, Pure. I hope um, all of the people who are watching this find it useful and go exploring Azure Backup Center and use it for getting you know, a lot more benefits out of backup in Azure. That's right. So you've heard it, folks. Go and use Azure Backup Center. It will uh, help you uh, operate and uh, ensure that your environment is protected. Until next time on Azure Unblogged, thank you very much. Thanks, Aruna. Thank you. Bye-bye.